Recharge, restore, and reinvent yourself at the Dance Teacher Web Conference and Expo at the fabulous Red Rock Resort in Las Vegas. This summer, join a wonderful group of master teachers and business leaders at the Creative Oasis, eager to help you. Now more than ever, it is important to join with educators who are eager to help you succeed. You deserve the best, and this summer, that's exactly what we are committed to giving you at the Dance Teacher Web Conference and Expo. Don't miss out on the opportunity to invest in your growth as a dance teacher. Visit danceteacherexpo.com to learn more and register today. City on TalkingAlternative.com with the filmmaker, I'll call you the filmmaker of the year, Ron, Ron Hansa, <laughs> whose um, documentary, Never Stand Still, won the Dance Camera West Award for Best Documentary. Welcome to the show, Ron. Well, thank you very much. Great to be here and talk about the film. Great to have you. So you're a filmmaker. You're not a dancer, unless you've been keeping that from me no, since we've been communicating. <laughs> No, that's right. I, I come to this as a filmmaker, as a person who uh, has always been uh, inspired to capture dance and movement. Uh, clearly, uh, the human form through space is, uh, for a filmmaker, has to be one of the most extraordinary things to try to capture and, you know, do justice to. I would imagine it's very challenging, but yet you took on this huge challenge and you went to one of the most, you know, well-respected, uh, most popular uh, dance festivals in the world, the Jacob's Pillow Dance Festival. So what made you as a filmmaker choose to do a documentary on Jacob's Pillow? Well, there's really a history to this. Um, I had the good fortune uh, to get an assignment many, many years ago, back in the early 80s, uh, to film um, a company, um, Lar Lubavitch. It was a mm. dance company that back, back in the day that yes. was, uh, Lar was dancing back in those days. Anyway, I had an opportunity to go up there and, and shoot a, a small profile piece about the dance company and, and just the kind of the behind the scenes of that. Mm -hmm. And it drew me or it took me to the Jacob's Pillow for the first time. And I was immediately inspired by what I found mm -hmm. uh, because not only did I find this really creative, um, uh, rustic, place where artists came to work and, and, and interact and share ideas and really create art. Mm -hmm. But I also met some amazing people. I mean, I, I think places are, are important where art takes place, but I think, as we all know, artists create art. So there was really a great opportunity to meet a whole range of, of people through that experience. And um, <clears throat> that was around the period of time of their 50th anniversary. So wow. actually this kind of fits in, 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 at the time it wasn't so clear, but um, based on the 50th anniversary, I went to the pillow learning about its uh, little bit about its history and its significance to the dance world. Mm -hmm. And I asked if they'd be interested in making a documentary about the 50th anniversary. And the response was, of course we would be, but we have no money to right. do that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Isn't that always the answer? I mean, so as a filmmaker, I, I didn't take that as a no. I took that <laughs> as, oh, great, let's go make a movie. Okay, <laughs> wow, wow. So anyway, uh, to to uh, it evolved into the first effort going up there over a summer that was now back in the. Um, Boy, uh, it's got a, the fiftieth anniversary had to be around nineteen. I'm trying to remember. It was um, around 86, 85, I want to say. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's going back. And so there were still a lot of what we'd call uh, legendary dancers dancing at that moment right. up there. Right. And um, anyway, it evolved into a film, the first film I made about dance. Um, called The Men Who Dance. And The Men Who Dance chronicles really Ted Sean's Men Dancers and the origin of that dance company mm -hmm. and basically the whole kind of history or, or back backstory of Sean's effort of champion men dancers. And I need to underscore that how that came about, even though we shot 
a lot of performance and a lot of other aspects of the festival. I never anticipated the film would be about a anniversary. I knew there would be some kind of uniqueness that was drawn from mm -hmm. the anniversary opportunity. And that opportunity turned into um, Norton Nowen, who is the yes. uh, director of preservation at the Jacob's Pillow, mm -hmm. and uh, it basically invited the original men dancers back. Now, these guys would have been in their 80s, most of them. Oh, my God. And um, as a, you know, that weekend that they were actually invited to come back, it was almost around this time, you know, many years ago, um, we didn't know who would be coming. A couple said they would try to make it, but it was unclear. Mm -hmm. And the astonishing thing is one by one, um, I think there were as many as seven of the original men dancers that came back, all of which nice. uh, was the first time they had been back since they were young men mm -hmm. dancing at Jacob's Pillow. Oh, so anyway, goodness. to cut to the chase, the men who dance was born out of that first experience mm -hmm. and principally became interviews with these, you know, amazing guys and their experience working with Ted Sean and touring America back in the 30s during the Great Depression and, and really trying to make, men, you know, dancing acceptable for men. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, that's that was my my first effort um, and it, it, the film did receive a lot of attention. Um, the p unfortunately, my life as a filmmaker kind of moved on to a lot of other work and a lot of mm -hmm. other projects and commercials and um, the 75th anniversary was coming <laughs> upon us. And oh my, boy. My, my producer and I said, you know, we really would like to go back to doing something in dance, and more importantly, something with Jacob's Pillow. Right. And we would be honored if it would be an opportunity to do something. And at that moment, Ella Bath, who's currently the director of Jacob's Pillow, the artistic director, um, and, and we had a meeting and basically floated the possibility mm -hmm. of filming uh, again, using the 75th as a catalyst to generate a film around. Right. And I had to say that Ella Bath was very inspired to um, take on this challenge. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if inspired is the right word. But she understood uh, intrinsically the, the importance of making a f documentary about Jacob's Pillow. Absolutely. So little did any of us realize this would be four years in the making. and wow. and And it was four years of basically shooting uh, during the summers, uh, fundraising during the winters, mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. going back to filming the next summer. So it was really incrementally that we worked on it, but it, it did span. We shot over three seasons, and uh, we're very proud that we finally completed a film. I didn't know it was four years in the making, Ron. That's yeah. a long, that's a long time. <laughs> it's, it's not unusual for documentaries. It really, really isn't. Yeah, it's really uh, the norm to s follow a subject and, and to do what you need to do. Uh, okay. Yeah. So uh, who's in your film? I, I've seen some of it because I saw the trailer, but just tell everyone who's in the film. Well, uh, I should say that the film has a lot of dancers in it. Well, who are <laughs> and, kind and some of like very the well most known notable, and some yeah. not so known, but very talented dancers. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the film is based on the... the uh, uh, notion that Jacob's Pillow represents a, a huge diversity of movement. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll give you a better insight to who's uh, who's in the film um, on, when we come back. But I, I basically we spent a lot of time carefully selecting who would represent the diversity of movement that we needed in this film. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. I only saw the little. I mean, that trailer had me like sitting on the edge of my seat. Like I want more. I want more. So you'll tell us later on how we can view the whole entire film and get more information about that later on in the show. But we'll sure. take a short break now, and uh, we'll come back with Ron Hansa. Stay tuned. Do you want to enhance your company's web presence with an eye-catching and unique website design? Would you like to incorporate professional video marketing? or mobile marketing into your organization's marketing campaign? Mission 101 Media offers a unique marketing experience that will set you apart from your competitors, magnify your brand exposure, and enhance your current marketing efforts. Their services include video production and editing, web design, graphic design, photography, social media management, and now introducing mobile marketing. Their motto is we do whatever it takes to make our clients happy. Contact them today at mission101media.com. Would you like to advertise your company's products or services on the Kiner Hour? 
Become one of our sponsors and get extensive online promotion and advertising for your business. Email info at kinerenterprises.com for more information on our affordable and competitive sponsorship packages. Businesses of all types are welcome. Kiner Enterprises Inc. is the leader in dance consulting, dance resources, and innovation through multimedia. We provide dance studio owners with social media marketing, training, and coaching, dance teacher staffing consulting, and offer extensive resources to dance teachers and dance professionals through the Kiner Enterprises Inc. Dancers Blog online community. If you're a dance teacher looking for work, we can help. If you're looking for ways to grow or expand your dance career or dance business, join our online community for dance professionals today. Check out our online articles, videos, ebooks, and presentations and get access to the resources that you've been looking for. Join the Kiner Enterprises Inc. Dancers Blog community today by going to kinerenterprisesincblog.com and click on sign up. That's it. It's free, quick, and easy. Kiner Enterprises Inc. Making the dance world a better place every day.